here. Those two games in Portland kind of had uh, different issues. You know, one game was defense, one game was offense. Just what did you guys work on today? Uh, we worked on both. Um, you know, our, our offense, our ball movement and player movement broke down uh, for one of the few times. You know, I mean, our offense has been very good all year, and we, we just didn't move the ball. Portland did a good job defensively, and, and we didn't uh, respond to it. But clearly, I mean, we're also going into a – to a Denver team that is outstanding offensively and being able to play through a center out on the perimeter is a little different than what you see every night. So we needed to do some work there too. Um, so, so we did some work at both ends of the floor today. I stand Mark Medina here with USA Today. Good to see you. Um, I was wondering, what do you think Zion's given you on defense so far? And what do you think his potential can be with both covering different positions and the overall impact there? Yeah, I, I mean, look, I, it's nothing I haven't told him. He needs to get better. I think he takes that seriously, that he needs to get better and needs to work. Um, you know, it, it's not very rare, quite honestly, um, for 20-year-old guys to need a lot of work defensively. But I think he's putting in an effort. I thought he did a really good job the other day. I, I thought he really worked hard, um, really in both Portland games, but especially on Thursday, I thought he was better. And, um, you know, he, he gets different kinds of challenges every night. So, um, you know, tomorrow will be another one. He'll spend some time on uh, Porter Jr. Um, he'll have to guard Millsap. Uh, you know, so he'll have different kinds of challenges, different kinds of players. Um, we put him in a lot of different pick and roll coverages. We certainly haven't made it real easy on him. And uh, he just has to continue to be committed to getting better at that end of the floor. I, I guess kind of piggybacking off of that, where where have you seen, I think, the I guess the most growth in him from, from the start of the year on, on that side of the floor? You know what? I, I think he's become a little bit more alert off the ball. Like before, I think off the ball, he would tend to relax and then he'd be late on a closeout or beaten on a cut. I think he's, it still happens occasionally, but he's been a lot better in terms of his awareness off the ball, his readiness to make the next play. Um, do, do you think, you know, the defense that you guys did play those last three quarters of the, the previous game, I mean, is that something, you know, you can, you could bottle or, or build off? I know there's no, no turning quarters. I won't use the phrase, but like, is that what you, what you want to do all the time? I, I mean, listen, I, you know, we just hope we get that kind of effort all the time, Christian. I mean, it, it's hard in this league to guard and any kind of let up makes it really difficult. I mean, uh, go back and look at how good Utah was, for instance, defensively um, for the first half of the year and then see what their struggles have been like over the last couple of weeks on the defensive end where they're giving up 120s on a, on a regular basis. Like, it, it's just hard. Like, I don't know if you can latch on to anything and every night you're going to go out and lock people up. I mean, you know, it, it takes so much focus and so much effort um, and anything less than that against the offenses in this league um, make it tough. And especially a Portland, a Denver. I mean, th these are high powered offensive teams. And I, I just have a quick follow-up. This is kind of like a, a big picture thing, but I mean, offense has been trending up, you know, like last, last couple of years or whatever, but like, is it surprised you the level to which like offense has just exploded this year um, at all? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I, I think it has, you know, um, we've seen the threes rise uh, dramatically, but, but what's happened this year and as well as people are, are shooting them. Yeah, it, it has, uh, it has surprised me a little bit, but you know, that's the game and you've got to cover ground the amount of effort it takes for perimeter players right now. Um, is incredible. Um, you've got to continue to be much, much better as a closeout team because you've got to cover so much ground. Um, you know, I, I think when, if, if, when and if we ever get back to a normal year and a normal practice schedule, um, you know, being able to play the ball one-on-one -on -one and being able to close out um, are skills that you, you've got to work on all the time. We haven't put enough time in on that this year, um, you know, so that's where I think the greatest improvements got to come against today's offenses. And uh, Stan, you, since JJ has been out, you, you've pretty much stuck to this, this, I guess this nine man rotation. Um, I know there were times this year where you, you used eight uh, with 
I guess we're playing Kyra and Nikhil. It's it's nine now. Do you like that number? Do you do you think it, you can go maybe maybe ten with how compact some of these games are down the stretch, or, do you, or is it kind of a, a game by game type situation for you? Yeah, I, I think it's game by game. You know, I, I think it's game by game, and um, you know, we just read the situation as we go, um, see where guys are at physically, see what matchups are, and all of that. So. Yeah, I don't think you, you can plan ahead and say, okay, we're going to play nine in these games and 10 in these games and eight. And I have no idea, you know, going forward. Um, I know we're trying to, you know, play those young guys. Um, you know, we got six guys under 23 in our rotation. So, you know, we're trying to play those guys and, and supplement them with our, with our veteran guys. Hey, Stan, back to Zion. I know, obviously, you know, you weren't, with the staff last year, but do you have any sort of reference point from your own observations or the medical staff of how much his conditioning has improved and what things are easier just by virtue that he's not coming off an injury and there's no minute restriction? Well, listen, look at Mark. I mean, I think that's the big thing, you know, he's been healthy and um, you know, that that's obviously allowed him to go out and play all but two games this year. And, and that's probably the biggest reason for his development. As far as his conditioning to compared to last year, I, I don't know. I don't have any firsthand knowledge of that. I would assume it's better simply because he's able to go out there and work every day. So I would assume it's better, but I, I can't say that for sure because I wasn't around last year. All right. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time. All right. See you. Another day down.